Our next guest says ChatGPT may be able to forecast stock price movements. Here with more on this is the co-author of this report, Alejandro Lopez Lira, University of Florida, Warrington College of Business Assistant Professor. Alejandro, thanks for joining us. Tell us, what did you find? How accurate were these AI-generated predictions? Hi, yes, uh, thank you for having me. So what we're doing is we're trying to understand whether ChatGPT can accurately forecast returns based on news headlines. As you can imagine, there's a lot of financial information in the news headlines and uh, well, a lot of analysts are hired to uh, understand those. So we thought a fun experiment would be to ask what happens if uh, we ask ChatGPT based on a headline, is this gonna be good for the stock uh, price of the company or is this gonna be bad for the stock price of the company? Right. Um, what we do find is that uh, there's some statistical significance associated. So, you know, uh, open, uh, OpenAI uh, ChatGPT predicts better than would be expected by uh, chance. So it's based on headlines. So you don't look necessarily on charts. You don't look necessarily on the fundamentals. It's based on headlines of articles that are written about these, correct? Yes, correct. And one reason we do it is because the numerical capabilities of uh, ChatGPT are not there yet with the other software that you would use for numerical analysis. So ChatGPT's strength, strength is using the, the textual information. Because so much of investing is really some, some invest based on chart analysis, some invest based on the fundamentals. There's also an emotional component to this. I mean, it, the, I guess the question is, when we're talking about ChatGPT and predicting stock moves, does it take the emotional part out? You're basically saying it really depends on what's said about that stock. Yes, actually, we think one of the advantages of ChatGPT relative to just counting the number of words is precisely that it can understand the context. So it can take a little bit more into account uh, what the sentiment of the headline is trying to convey precisely because it's trained on, you know, uh, past uh, newspapers, past uh, internet uh, exchanges, et cetera. So it, it, it kind of like is able to grasp this uh, more subtle parts of the language relative to other uh, off-the-shelf software. So where do you go next with this type of study? Are you looking at other ways of studying how AI can predict uh, stock market moves? Yeah, definitely. So all of my research uh, is mostly done in the area of artificial intelligence. Past papers have shown, for example, that other types of algorithms can predict earnings better than what you would see uh, in, on, on average for the analyst forecast. And, you know, the, the big question is like, how far can we take it? We obviously understand the limitations of ChatGPT. We know it's not able to accurately process large numbers of uh, data points. Uh, it's mostly just a relevant piece of text. So one question would be, what if we just try to put some summaries of like, you know, say the company's earnings were that were up to like uh, by 30% and the average earnings up is like 5%. Would that make it have better forecasts if we give it more contextual information or would it be the same? And you mentioned analysts. I mean, does this change sort of what, anal uh, does this put in jeopardy the analyst job or the analyst uh, analysis um, how does how does artificial intelligence and predictions correlate with what analysts are saying or what pro portfolio managers are doing? Yeah, so it will definitely increase the productivity of analysts in the first place, right? If you have a big technology that's able to help, help you calculate uh, thousands of headlines and just uh, tell you what the expected result is going to be, it's probably going to make the job uh, so much easier. So I would definitely be expecting a lot of uh, investment professionals to incorporate this kind of artificial intelligence tools into their analysis. You know, the quicker they incorporate it, uh, we would expect that the predictability of the returns actually declines, right? Markets will become more efficient. As soon as everyone is using ChatGPT to uh, predict returns, then there will be no more predictability because the market will incorporate the information uh, fairly quickly. I also want to mention quickly that, for example, most of the predictability is concentrated in uh, smaller stocks because the market prices more accurately larger stocks. So it's just hard to trade on news based on that. Oh, interesting. So you, it's better success rates with the smaller cap stocks? Yes, and that's a pervasive phenomenon that we just observe whenever you're trying to predict uh, stock returns or uh, kind of like similar market movements. Uh, smaller stocks are easier to predict. That's where the predictability is concentrated. That's also because these smaller stocks are sometimes more costly to trade 
um, so in so in some in some sense, uh, some uh, investment professionals may not consider it worth it to go through the transaction costs. It'll be interesting to see how all of this artificial intelligence and stock investing uh, develops. Thanks so much, Alejandro Lopez Lira, University of Florida Warrington College of Business Assistant Professor. Thanks for joining us.